Good morning. This is Pastor Zach with the Goodland United Methodist Church with your morning devotion for Wednesday, November 1st. Today we'll be looking at the book of Daniel in chapter 3. King Nebuchadnezzar made a golden statue whose height was 60 cubits and whose width was 6 cubits. He set it up on the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. The herald proclaimed aloud, You are commanded, O peoples, nations, and languages, that when you hear the sound of the horn, pipe, lyre, trigon, harp, drum, and the entire musical ensemble, you are to fall down and worship the golden statue that King Nebuchadnezzar has set up. Whoever does not fall down and worship shall immediately be thrown into a furnace of blazing fire. Then they came and said to the king, O king, live forever. You, O king, have made a decree that everyone who hears the sound of the horn, pipe, lyre, trigon, harp, drum, and entire musical ensemble shall fall down and worship the golden statue. Whoever does not fall down and worship shall be thrown into the furnace of the blazing fire. There are certain Jews whom you have appointed over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These pay no heed to you, O king. They do not serve your gods, and they do not worship the golden statue that you have set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar, who was furious with rage, commanded that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego be brought in. So they brought those men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar said to them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you do not serve my gods, and you do not worship the golden statue that I have set up? Now if you are ready, when you hear the sound of the horn, pipe, lyre, trigon, harp, drum, and entire musical ensemble, to fall down and worship that statue that I have made, well and good. But if you do not worship, you shall be immediately thrown into a furnace of blazing fire. And who is the God that will deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, have no... We have no need to present a defense to you in this matter. If our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the furnace of blazing fire and out of your hand, O king, let him deliver us. But if not, be it known to you, O king, that we will not serve your gods, and we will not worship the golden statue that you have set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar was so filled with rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego that his face was distorted. He ordered the furnace heated up seven times more than customary and ordered some of the strongest guards in his armies to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and throw them into the fire. Because the king's man was so urgent, the furnace was so overheated, the raging flames killed the men who lifted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. But the three men fell down, bound in the furnace of blazing fire. Then King Nebuchadnezzar was astonished and rose up quickly. He said to his counselors, Was it not the three men that we threw into the fire? They answered, True, O king, but I see four men unbound walking in the middle of the fire, and they are not hurt, and the fourth has the appearance of God. This deliverance story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego is amazing, that they followed God so closely, that they trusted God so much, that they would go against the rule of the day. They would go against their government. They would go against the commands of what they should do and how they should do it. They trusted God so much that even if it meant dying, they would follow God to that death. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in that fiery furnace are an example for us to really look at how dedicated we are to our faith and our God. Are we willing to give it all up? Are we willing to go completely against what is expected of us by the ruling class of the day to honor our God? Have a blessed day.